What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension from Christina Inneroth that allows you to quickly create faces without having to trace over all of them in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So we're actually gonna use a DWG file that I created using this diamond cabin model by John Lutrup from the 3D Warehouse. And I created that basically by taking a section cut through the building and then, and then doing a file export 2D graphic and exporting a DWG file. So um, I will make that file available for my Patreon supporters. So if you do wanna download that, you can do that. But basically what we wanna talk about is let's say that we now imported that DWG file into a new SketchUp file, right? So we're gonna do a file import. We're gonna go find that DWG and we're gonna bring it in. And so you might get a CAD file from a lot of different places, but generally when you do this and you double click inside of the CAD file, what it's going to do is it's actually going to just come in as a bunch of edges, right? And so if you've ever gotten to this point before, um, this is where you might have come in here and started tracing over top of the CAD file, right? In order to try to create the faces. Now this is a fairly simple CAD file. So if you really, really wanted to, you could come in here and just trace over the top of everything, right? But that can definitely get a little bit time consuming. Like for example, like this didn't close in all the way. So you'd have to come in and retrace over top of that. Um, so it's just a lot of manual work. And so what we can do instead is we can use a free extension from Christina Inneroth. And so I'm gonna go into the SketchUp extension warehouse and what you wanna look for is you wanna look for Inneroth Face Creator. So this extension does exactly what it sounds like. It tries to create all faces from either the selected edges or the active drawing context. And so at least at the moment, even though it's not listed as being compatible with SketchUp 2023, um, it appears to be working. So if you click on install and it says this isn't compatible, I just clicked on yes, and it's still working in my version of SketchUp. Um, so uh, we'll take a look at what it does. Okay, and so now what you can do is you can either make a selection inside of your model or not. Um, in this case, I'm going to start by making a selection, but if I click into extensions and I activate InnerAuth Face Creator, it's gonna come in here and it's going to try to create every possible face based on what I had selected. Now, notice how I didn't have the whole thing selected, so it didn't create all the faces. Um, I'm gonna click back out of here and click into my group um, of geometry that came in from my DWG file. But if I go to extensions, enter off face creator in here, that's actually gonna come in here and it's going to create every possible face that's in here. Now, there may be some cleanup you have to do having to do with your actual DWG geometry, but notice how this created these faces everywhere. And so I'm gonna come in here, right click, I'm going to reverse faces. Well now, if I wanted to, it's very easy for me to come in and start extruding these up to whatever height that I want, right? So I could do a 10 feet, then all I have to do is double click. Or what I might do in this situation using a different extension is I might actually use Fredo 6's joint push pull because it actually allows me to push pull multiple faces at once. But I'm gonna go into a top down view and I'm just going to pick up all of the faces so you can hold control so that it's an additive selection only. So it's only going to add things to the selection, not remove them, but then if I come in here and select all of these, like this, and then I run joint push pull. And in this case, I would probably create a vector push pull because that's just gonna push pull it in a direction. And I would probably select the option for Z because I just want this to push this up and down. But if I was to extrude it up using this tool, then I don't even have to go through and manually add all those different faces, right? Um, now, some of these, for whatever reason, don't go all the way up. So I might have to come back in here and do a few of them manually, but overall that's a lot faster than coming in here and doing every one of these um, manually. So you could use that extension in order to quickly push pull most of the faces inside your model. So in my opinion, this is a must have extension if you are doing a lot of work with CAD files because it can save you a lot of tracing. So if you do wanna learn more about SketchUp extensions, make sure you check out my SketchUp Ultimate Extensions Guide. Um, that's got links to over 140 extensions and tutorials that you can use to make SketchUp more powerful. Um, you can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash extensions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.